busting my balls, Billy, okay? I can already tell that I don't like you. The fuck you bust on my balls? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It might be your first ball job. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm your host, Eric Pinnell. Guys, thanks for listening. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, crazy-ass OJ Simpson is now... Hey, Twitter world, this is yours truly. Now, coming soon to Twitter, you'll get to read all my thoughts and opinions on just about everything. Now, there's a lot of fake OJ accounts out there, so this one, at the real OJ32, is the only official one. So, this should be a lot of fun. I got a little getting even to do. So, God bless. Take care. This crazy fucker's now on Twitter, all right? And you know, dude, he says I got a lot of getting even. He's, he's got a lot of getting even? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking, you're a murderer. But he, bro, he, I mean, he beat that trial. I mean, as an American, I kind of like that he beat the trial. You know what I'm saying? He's still a piece of shit, though. He murdered those fucking people. And, uh, you know, and when he goes on Twitter, and then he's going to go on social media, and he, this motherfucker's going to end up with a podcast. I mean, dude, every fucking person that has the podcast is going to get less downloads because O.J. Simpson's going to have his own fucking podcast. He's going to have his own show. He's going to have something. This guy is going to be, dude, he's going to be a fucking hit. I don't know how long it's going to be a hit for, but this dude, if they play the cards right, this guy could be bigger than fucking Kardashians, you know? I mean, but to think... Everybody thinks because he's like, you know, he's always oh, on Twitter. He's going to tell everybody he ain't going to say he murdered these motherfuckers. I mean, I'll, he might be dumb enough to do that, though. I mean, that's what people are hoping, where it's just like, yeah, he fucking said it. He did this. He did that. You know, if he if he does say that, they can't get him for shit, right? I mean, that's like double jeopardy or something like that. But he ain't dumb enough to say that because, I mean, it's bad enough that, like, there's some shadow of the doubt. You know, it's, it's crazy how there's people that think that OJ didn't murder these motherfuckers. You ever see that? That 30 for 30? That was the best 30 for 30, man. I mean, unless you lived it also. I mean, you'd have to watch 30 for 30. I mean, I'm old enough to live when OJ Simpson was fucking. And there's people that fucking hated him. And then there's people that like were like, he didn't do it. And it's like, God damn, who are these motherfuckers that think he didn't do it? And they have the craziest fucking somebody. Is, I, I, had, I had a guy not too long ago, a grown fucking man. Uh, African-American, so I, I mean, you know, whatever the fuck that means. And uh, this guy told me that he thinks O.J. owed uh, cocaine money, and that's why they killed his ex-wife and they killed this dude. That's just the way it is. And I'm just like, who the fuck came up with that fucking story? Like, how, did they, how the fuck do people come up with, like, these fucking conspiracy theories on shit like that, you know? I mean, it's, like, enough just for you to kind of believe it, like 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 a, like a, a certain percentage of idiots to fucking believe that. But it's like, no, what? He fucking murdered her. It's simple. He's a fucking asshole. That was his old lady. She's a hot piece of ass. She's blowing dudes all over town and fucking him and disrespecting him. And he's a power junkie creep and uh, and a bunch of other shit that comes along with marriage and weird fucking human ego bullshit and fucking devil in us and fucking just got him. So OJ's now on fucking Instagram. Probably. He'll be on Instagram. He'll be on Twitter. I, it's, it's, it's fucking great. Dude, I looked up his Twitter profile. The cocksucker already has like 500,000 fucking Twitter followers, and it was like two days. I mean, it's like two days. He's going to go on Joe Rogan. There's no way that, that OJ Simpson is not going to go on Joe Rogan. You know? I mean, why would he not? Then how many Twitter followers? It, 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 dude, this guy's going to have a show. Anyways. This guy was fucking, this guy, dude, people forget how great of a football player OJ Simpson was, you know, like he was an excellent football player. I mean, he's before a lot of people's times, including myself. I remember when I was a kid, I had, I had, I had football cards of him, but I didn't, I never watched him play football. He was before my time when I started playing, watching football. And, uh, but dude, anybody that's seen highlights, this guy was the fucking man. You know, I mean, he, dude, he was, he was handsome. He was a fucking, he's got that beautiful smile. He's charming. Like, like, like that 30 for 30 that they did on uh, ESPN that was like six part. If nobody's ever seen that, if, you, if you're listening right now and you haven't seen that, please start watching that because that was a great fucking documentary. It's one of the best documentaries ever made, man. I mean, it, it, it breaks everything down. And it, and it actually now I'm going to fucking talking about this. I'm going to I'm going to start watching it tonight myself, man. It is good. And, uh, you know, that that's why people don't believe O.J. Simpson did this is because he was so amazing that you would think, like, nobody would fuck that up. Who would fuck that up, you know? But people fuck up their life. They do shit, you know? I mean, it's just the way it is. People fuck up, man. Let me get a little drink of water. So we'll see. We'll see what that is. It's not, nothing's going to happen. He's going to come on there with this bullshit. He's going to be a fake and a phony. 
and uh, he's not going to give you. You know what would be good if OJ just came out and was like, fuck all you motherfuckers and just gave him like the real. That would be the OJ that I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Where he just gives you the real, starts talking about all the pussy he got back in the past. You know what I'm saying? All the blondes he used to fuck and redheads, you know, all, just all the dirty downs. You know, just how he got dirty down with a bunch of chicks and shit like that. How they used to lick his butt back in the day and stuff like that. I used to just piss on their face and stuff like that, you know. I mean, just fucking dirty OJ stories. That would be the best. That would be that would be what I'd if I fucking watch that, dude. I'd fucking are you kidding me? But he's not. He's gonna go on there and be a fucking fake phony. I uh it's been a while it's been a couple days since I've done a podcast. Uh Fuck, man. NBA Finals. Golden State Warriors have lost. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, I'm sure you do. Um, Clay Thompson got hurt. He definitely, uh, you know. Hey, look, that's part of the game, man. It sucks that they got hurt. They most likely would have won that series, but they had a ton of injuries. If Kevin Durant was not injured, they probably would have beat those guys. I mean, it's. I mean, who knows? I mean, some could, you know, some could say, no, they, they the Raptors would have beat them. I don't fucking think so. I don't think so. I think I think if uh, if Kevin Durant was uh, was healthy, Dracula. What kind of name is that for a nigga? If Kevin Durant was healthy, it would have been a fucking you know, it would have been a no brainer. They would they would have had another one. But now, dude, what, what a world, what a world that now Kevin Durant is is hurt. He fucked that Achilles up or whatever the hell that was, and now he's going to be out a whole year. I mean, he's going to be out a whole season, and uh, I, you know, I wonder who he signs with. And, you know, I was wondering if Kevin Durant would just say, uh, I'm not signing with another team for a whole year because I can't play for a whole year. And I want to see what the landscape looks like in a year because the, the guy has plenty of money. It's not like it, it, it's not like a motherfucker like me where it's like, no, I better sign because I don't got any money. How am I going to live for a year No, That guy's got money for fucking days, you know, and I, I just wonder if he goes, yeah, I'm going to stay out a year and then I'm going to see what the landscape looks like then. And I'm going to choose my best option. You know, I mean, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't sound like a crazy idea, but most likely, no, he's going to sign with a team, and um, and that's what he's going to do. And uh, with Clay Thompson being out, uh, almost they said it, the earliest might be March when he comes back, and he's up for a contract too. And they're saying Golden State has to sign this dude. I'd be like, fuck you, I don't have to do shit because, dude, any all these dudes that come off these fucking ACLs, they're not even good for like a couple years. Like, you, you notice it in football. Dalvin Cook didn't do shit last year because he came off that ACL. and he, he got better towards the end of the year. But uh, those ACLs, man, not everybody's Adrian Peterson where you fucking, you know, you, you got lucky and you come back and you come back like a beast. It's tough, man. I mean, anybody knows sports, dude. I, I So I'm just saying, Clay Thompson, he's going to be gone all next year and he probably won't be that hot the next year following that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he will be. But to give him a max contract? But the problem is they need him. They need him, you know, like in letting go of a talent like that. You, you don't know necessarily if you're going to get another talent back. A lot of people think Golden State is done. I don't think they're they're done. I don't think they're I think they'll be a playoff team next year. I don't know if they're going to go to the finals and win next year. Um, it's weird. Uh, you know, also in uh, NBA news, Anthony Davis just got traded to freaking uh, the Lakers. And dude, the Lakers gave up a lot. You know, and it depends what you read. Like some people you read like like uh, the Pelicans just got, you know, they, they just got hustled and uh, the Lakers, you know, are looking pretty. And then some people you talk to that you think like, ah, the Pelicans look pretty good. I mean, dude, they got like three or four draft picks. They the, First of all, they get the fourth round pick overall this year and they have Zion Williamson. So they're getting two out of the top four picks this year. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I seen a couple of their players want to opt out and stuff like that also, which I don't get that either, but they got a couple of Laker players already. They're young, man. And I, I, dude, the Pelicans don't look too bad. I'm not saying they're going to be the, the team. I mean, we got to see what the fuck they look like. And, uh, but they're not that bad They're I think the Pelicans are better today than they were yesterday, you know, or whenever the fuck they did to trade. And, uh, and so with golden state being banged up, it, uh, you know, the West is going to be different. You know, are the Lakers going to be good enough if, if LeBron stays healthy with Anthony Davis? Are they the ones uh, beating on the door? Uh, are, are Houston, uh, the Rockets, are they going to, you know, uh, get their shit back together and say, hey, look, the door's open. And also it's weird because now the East, if Kawhi Leonard leaves, and where does Kawhi Leonard go? Does he go to the Clippers? He go, does somehow do they fix it where he goes to the Lakers and they, they fix contracts up where LeBron goes, hey, restructure my contract. I don't want to make that much this year and let's do this. I mean, I, I I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm the only one that ever thought. I mean, I'm, I'm, nobody's saying that, but that could happen maybe. 
and um, you know Kawhi Leonard most likely is going to leave uh, the Raptors that just won the, the the championship. You know, and dude, Toronto could bitch and complain about it, but it's like, look, he, you guys got a championship out of it. He gave you a championship, and he's not obligated to stay there with you. You got more out of him than he got out of you, besides the good money that you paid him for that year. And uh, which, which that's a trade off. You know, he gave you a championship. You gave him a couple million millions of dollars, I guess. And uh, depending on where he goes, dude, you know, even in the East. So so what I'm saying is if, if the Raptors aren't there with that, the, the East opens up. Is Milwaukee going to be back in there? Is Boston going to reload somehow? Is uh, the 76ers going to be there? Is it going to be another team that, that pops their head up in the East? Most doubt, most likely not. Um, but then who's in the West? So, I mean, dude, NBA, first year in like five, six years that the Golden State Warriors are not going to be the ones that everybody's fearing, you know? And also with Kevin Durant being out, I mean, it's everybody thought Kevin Durant was going to come to the East or go to another team, and you're like, oh, they're going to be the beast. You know, who is it now? I don't know. I didn't know the NBA draft was coming up so fast, man. Uh, I guess Thursday is going to be the NBA draft, and, you know, I, I'm interested to see what that looks like. I mean, I only know, like, a couple, like a handful or so of the players, but um, but I'm just wondering what, what you know, what how it goes down. And uh, I seen that Drake, Drake said he didn't want to go to, well, I don't know if he said this, but I read on TMZ that Drake said he stayed out of Oakland the night of the finals because, uh, I don't know. I mean, how I read it, it sounded like he didn't want a fucking Biggie Tupac fucking thing going on. Can you imagine if somebody shoot fucking Drake? That's crazy, dude, right? All that, bi- all that big talk that he was doing and then somebody just pop, 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 pop. Fucking rap, man. You know, that's, that's a good thing about comedy. You don't have that shit happen in comedy where people are shooting at you and shit where it's like, oh my God. Can you imagine motherfuckers are shooting a carrot top and stuff where it's like, damn, I just made a joke. <laughs> right? Like fucking people shooting at Nick DePaula and like Bill Burr and stuff like that. It'd be fucking awful. But in rap and hip hop, dude, that shit happens, man. What a fucking weird thing, right? It's it's you know, it's just fucking music. You know they're just talking shit a little bit, right? It's just fucking music, but then they're bringing that bullshit into that fucking world. I'm so glad they don't like can you imagine actors like Tom Cruise got shot at? It's like fucking Tom Cruise just got shot at. By who? Brad Pitt. <laughs> it's fucking stupid, man. I don't fucking get it, dude. Dude, oh, speaking of fucking shooting, what the fuck? How the, f- who the fuck? Why is David Ortiz getting shot at? They tried to kill that motherfucker. Did you see that fucking video? I mean, of course you probably did. Dude, they tried to kill that mother. What a fucking shitty hit, man. Shoot him in the head, you fucking idiot. Like, what does it matter? Why didn't they shoot him in the fucking head? I don't know. I, I guess he's, they thought they were going to shoot David Ortiz in the back a couple times, and that was going to be the it. Dude, what a bad video. That poor guy. He's just chilling, having some beers and shit like that. You know? He's just trying to fucking, you know, have a couple fucking brewskis, and some motherfucker pulls up. I mean, dude, they, that was a straight-up hit style. Who the fuck did that? I think they said nine people were arrested in that. And I, th- I think I fucking, did I read there was only, it was like for like $8,000 they paid, motherfucker? Life is cheap down there. I mean, I know people to kill for for fucking less, but Jesus Christ! I mean, fucking Big Poppy. I mean, what 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 was that about? I mean, is that ever going to come out that uh, that that they're going to ever talk about that? That that this motherfucker, you know, that's that's crazy, man. That's crazy, and that they had video of it. I mean, that's what's nuts about today, dude. How you could just get video of that? That was pretty good. I mean, it was a little grainy, but. It was, it was crazy how they fucking, you know, I mean, dude, videos of him pulling up in the car and then videos of him fucking shooting the dude. I mean, how many times did that guy get shot? I mean, it looked like he fucking unloaded on him. I mean, it truly did, man. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. It, it just sucks, man. It's it, That's how it is, man. Where motherfuckers just pull up. Oh, so this dude ran up on a, is he on a moped? Is that what this motherfucker did? God, they, dude, in, in these countries, they'll do a fucking hit on a moped, dude. That's some old fucking Pablo Escobar shit. And then this dude walks up on him. I'm watching a video right now. Dude, bop, 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 bop. Oh, see. Dude, what? Some bullshit. This dude's over here fucking talking. David Ortiz is talking to his people and stuff. And he's just like, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, you got to have some, oh, God damn. And these poor people, that's what, that's what sucks about motherfuckers that don't like, that like, they, they, you know, the people just shooting crowds. It's like, dude, there's fucking innocent fucking people over there. Oh my God. Ortiz is 43 years old. It's the same age as me. God damn it. 
You know, but dude, you know, if we get shot, we're fucked. This guy's got good fucking, he's got good fucking health insurance and people want to see him alive. They get my white ass coming in there. Oh yeah. I'm seeing all these pictures of these motherfuckers. Boy, what is these? Two, four, six, seven, seven motherfuckers, dude. Look like they're all Dominican and shit. Uh Uh-huh. Boy, why'd they want to fucking take this dude out, man? I don't understand this. This poor guy. I mean, dude, I don't know. I mean, if the guy's a bad guy, that's what, you know, that's the type of shit that happens. But I haven't heard nothing about that. You know what's weird is once David Ortiz got fucking shot, the next days on, uh, I watch uh, FS1 with like Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp and uh, the earlier show with, uh, I record uh, the earlier show with Chris Carter and uh, whatever they do with the big fucking schnoz. And uh, none of them, none of those shows that I noticed, they didn't talk anything about David Ortiz. They didn't say nothing. I was waiting because the next day I'm like watching it. I'm fast forwarding it all the way to the end. And I'm like, they didn't say a motherfucker about this dude. ESPN did. But uh, I seen ESPN a couple times talking about it. But, uh, dude, I I just wonder why they would stay away from that. Is it because it's gang ties or something like that? And they just don't want to be near it where they go. No, 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 no. Don't say shit about that. We don't know about that. We don't want to have any problems about that. Let somebody else talk about that. Because I didn't see it, dude. I was really surprised. You know? And I get it. They don't want to get sued. I don't I don't know. What I mean, what's the uh what's the fear of uh of not saying anything about it? I don't know. I mean, I I, I the only thing I could think of if there was if there was like gang ties or something like that. You know, that's the only thing I could fucking think of that that that's why they would have done that. You know, but god damn. I hope that dude fucking recovers. That's not cool, dude. That ain't fucking cool when, when you know, somebody fucking just walks up on it. That, that could have been any of us. You know, I worry about that all the time, dude. Like somebody just pulls up to me in a car and I'm just like the random white guy that they go, you're dead. Pow, 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 pow. And then I'm like, motherfucker, don't they know about me? I have sex in front of my kids. That guy has sex in front of his kids. Who the fuck would ever say that on the Internet? Like, who would ever say that? Like, I can't believe this. I have sex in front of my kids. Yeah, that is gross. That is gross. Like, if my stepdad that raised me would ever say that, like, he has sex. Like, I couldn't imagine seeing my stepdad having sex in front of me. It was fucking, plus he'd be fucking my mom. That's just even grosser. That's fucking disgusting, man. I don't, I don't fucking get it, man. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, I, uh, you know, I'm not trying to keep you guys. I, uh, I wanted to do a podcast. It's Sunday night. It's, uh, dude, it, I don't know where the weather's at in Chicago, but it ain't fucking summer here. I, I finally got my fucking pool liner in. I was doing some man shit and put my pool liner in by myself and got all the fucking wrinkles out of it. Dude, if you ever put a pool liner in an above ground pool, use somebody else. It is a pain in the ass. Just pay for some motherfucker to do it. You know, sometimes it's worth paying. I got so much fucking man pride in me that I'm like, I'm not paying nobody to do shit. I'm just going to do it. And then I, I do it, and then I say the cunt word like 110 times as I'm putting in this liner. And, uh, oh, my God, it, I, 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 it, it was so frustrating because it's not a one-man job. And I, and I put it in finally, and I got it in. It was such a pain in the ass. And I fill it up. I fucking It looks all nice and pretty. And, dude, it's like fucking 60 degrees here in Chicago. And fucking June, what is it? Isn't it 17th of June? It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Where's the weather at? That's why I want to get the fuck out of this place, man. I mean, it, the weather sucks. I mean, we get like three months of decent, well, like, okay weather where it's not fucking, you're not shoveling. And then now it's not even three months. Now it's fucking two months. And it's, it's I, I just don't understand why, I, like, like, why am I still staying here? I don't, I don't really get it, you know? But who knows? Who, where would you go? Where are you going to go? You know, where am I going to go? L.A., where I got to pay a fucking ton of money? San Diego, where I'd really like to go, where I didn't pay a fucking ton of money? You know? you can't. I mean, all these major cities that you go to, you're like, you got to pay a shitload of money at. It's crazy how fucking, ex- I mean, Chicago, in a big scheme of things, for like a major city, it ain't even that that expensive. You know? But, but I mean, but if you want to choose to go to any of these other fucking, other fucking towns, you know? Dude, I, I was talking to somebody the other day uh, here in Chicago. We got these these parking meter boxes, you know, so you park on the street. You got to pay for the parking with the parking meter. Well, they got an app uh, that you can do it through the app and say, oh, I don't want to go put my credit card and dip my credit card in there or put cash in there. And you could just do it from the app. Well, uh, 
since your license plate is, is attached to your parking spot right there, if you do it on the app, that uh, that if you have any tickets, it lets the people know that give tickets, that if you got outstanding tickets, where your car's at, and then they go there and throw a fucking boot on it, or they go there and give you more tickets, but most likely a boot. And a boot here in Chicago is like seven hundred bucks. Last I heard, I don't know if it's more expensive, but I think it's I think it's like seven hundred bucks. It's it's just it's just fucked up, man. It it just trips me out how like fucking cunty these guys are with like trying to get their fucking money. It's it's it, it, you know it's in these cities, dude. They got it. I think they just raised the gas tax. Like they doubled it. They go okay, whatever our gas tax is, we're gonna double that. It's like who the fuck does that? Who the fuck? Who the fuck, like, they just, they just say that. I think the Uber tax, like, when you get an Uber, there's a tax on that. They doubled that. Somebody told, I think they doubled that on that. You know? It, it's it's just, it's just extremely, like, I don't know how these guys just get away with this shit. And it just keeps going up and up and up. And that's how these cities, like, they just end up with, like, rich people. Or, like, extremely poor people. But, I mean... They're just ending up with rich people. And then and then that's why, like, towns lose all the culture and stuff like that. Because then you can't have, like, regular motherfuckers that can, you know, just not work, 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 and pay, 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 pay. And they, you know, it's, it's anyways, I'm just fucking uh, just rambling about how expensive these fucking towns are. But it's true, you know. So people that are listening out there and you're living in smaller towns, I'm telling you, there's pluses to it. There's less humans. There's less fucking property taxes generally. There's less fucking... I mean, it, it, these towns are expensive, man. Plus, you got more people. You got more assholes. You get more crime. You know? I mean, it's it, there's, there's a lot of shit that comes, comes with all these fucking... Uh, traffic? Traffic's fucking disgusting in these towns. I mean, you can't get nowhere in Chicago for under 45 minutes. I mean, shit that's normally like a 10-minute, like 15-minute drive in most towns? Pff, forget about it. Depending on what time of day it is, that's an hour and 10. It's fucked up. Anyways, nobody needs to, be, to hear me just bitching about Chicago like a fucking old man. Guys, thank you for listening to uh, Bustin' Balls podcast. If you would, share the podcast. That does help me on listens. Uh, if you don't, I totally get it. Uh, leave a review on iTunes if you would. That helps me in rankings. If you don't, I totally fucking get it. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Bustin' Balls Podcast or Eric Pinnell Comedy. And, uh, guys, thank you so much for listening. Let's have a good fucking month. Uh, all that shit you want to do, let's fucking do it. All right? positive thinking let's fucking get it let's get off our asses and get what the fuck we want all right let's go get it thank you guys for listening call me psychotic but i'm bad nigga yo and i'ma do your bad black and when i come i'm busting up niggas to help me back you should have never let a nigga see that there was niggas and bitches and bitches and niggas that hated me huh. i waited for my day to come up and now that I'm a I can't escape the fucking front page So, I guess that nigga did you something hit again I kicked that funky shit and coke and stupid like I'm Gilligan I paid, suppose I hit a lick for a check The only thing I gain is the pain of niggas coming back Nigga, looking for they shit, aggravated and pissed Cause they can't fuck with my click I'm here to break them off a chunk of D-E-A-T-H-B-Y A motherfucking and I'll be rolling with the brass. So if you see us in your hoodie, break your neck to roll on past, nigga. Don't even stop to say what up, cause I bust for the fuck. And put some quick to light a motherfucker up. Next time you spot me on your block, I hope you lead a place. Or be the next to meet the Lord face to face, nigga. I ain't the one to take no bullshit. Cause see your nigga like the D's game to empty out the full clip. So when I come for you, act like you know. Send then motherfucker smooth to the car, but you don't hear me though. I'ma bring it to your ass. Oh. Do it like the cheetah. Yeah. Bustin' on that ass, but still I see that you don't hear but me. But you don't hear me though.